Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to review the 4K release of Mary Queen of Scots. If you're new to the channel, please hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I put out videos daily. You can also find me over Twitter and Instagram at Movie Guy 365. Mary Queen of Scots in 4K has come to, to our shelves. Uh, basically, it's you know it's a story told you know numerous times in cinema and of course literature you know about Queen Elizabeth the first and her you know cousin you know Mary Stuart you know who's ruling trying you know ruling over Scotland and then when Britain pretty much absorbs Scotland under her rule the those two just kind of clash and that story's been told many many times so don't necessarily have to rehash it but I just want to talk a little about uh, the overall themes and of course the quality of the disc um as far as the movie goes, uh, as a, I've seen it better. Uh, I, I've seen this story told better. Obviously, Kate Blanchett in Elizabeth was a very, very good telling of the story. Uh, I enjoyed Kate Blanchett in the role, actually. But um, as far as Margot Robbie goes, uh, she's okay. Uh, it's, you know, I don't think she's quite established herself as an actress yet to be able to carry this type of role on her own. But as opposed to, like, Sorcy Ronan, who plays, you know, her cousin Mary Stewart, uh, I think she was the better of the two in this case. I think Roby still needs to get a little bit more experience out there. I know she's an actress and she's been around a few years, but I feel like this was a little too heavy for her to handle. Um, also, you know, Josie Burke, the, or I'm sorry, Josie Rourke, the director, uh, first time director, and it kind of shows. Uh, as many first time directors do, there's an experience on the screen, uh, just the way shot, certain shots are framed and that kind of thing. But, one of the things I really didn't enjoy about the movie was it got a little too preachy and messagey. And most of those messages were, you know, about movements that are going on today in the political climate. And I feel that a movie can do that and not be so heavy handed as it is in this film. It, you know, it has its moments here and there. There are some, I mean, I'll, I'll get more into that in the depth of the quality of the, the disc. But, you know, I think everything, you know, as far as historical inaccuracies go, those are kind of par for the course on movies like this. Nothing is going to be 100% accurate. That's what our that's what our documentaries are for, is to get things like that. Um, but they do take liberties as far as like timelines go and relationships, that kind of thing. As I said, I feel, I feel the movie Elizabeth did it better. Uh, you know, overall, it, it's okay. It's worth watching at least once, in my opinion. But I feel that the the if you really want to get down to it, the true true star of the disc is the you know the Dolby Vision and the HDR. It looks very, very good. Uh, I love period pieces, especially when they, when, you know, you can take use of that Dolby Vision and just really bring out the textures and the darkness of a castle, that kind of thing. And you know, you have your deep blacks, uh, the costuming. Oh, it's gorgeous in this one. It's just absolutely. There's a lot for your eyes to feast on. Uh, HDR and the Dolby Vision really, really look well done. The landscapes just look, you know, phenomenal. I mean, there are some great shots of the countryside, uh, but everything gets a nice upgrade as far as like over HD, you know, you get those details in the costuming. Just just look for those details. Uh, you know, the, um, just skin textures, that kind of thing. You know, there, there are a fair amount of pop outs of color, not as, it, as you would see, you know, in a, in a current day film, as far as like, you know, that kind of time period, but they're very, you know, I mean, you've got your nice oranges from certain outfits, that kind of thing. And the, the landscape, the grass, it all looks very, very good. I, I, I found absolutely no complaints as far as uh, picture quality. Dolby Vision looks very good. Uh, audio, we're given a Dolby Atmos uh, sound. Uh, there's a lot, there is a lot going on. It's very, very immersive. Uh, a lot, you know, especially during, of course, the battle scene that, that takes place. Uh, you get a lot of like whisks of gunfire over your head and the, the rears have a lot to do in those type of scenes, but also in the quieter moments, you definitely get, uh, you know, little ambient sounds, which I, I love and I appreciate whenever a movie can do that, you know, and then of course, going back to the war stuff that, that, you know, it's, it's a lot of thunderous LFE going on at times, you know, you, you that kind of thing, but Nothing that's really going to shake your home theater to the core, 
but it still sounds very, very good. And I, I would recommend you watch this through a surround sound system if at all possible. Um, but yeah, it's a good experience overall as far as picture and uh, audio. Uh, you just have to kind of get through the story. You know, there are, as I said, Sorcy Ronan, I really enjoyed her, her parts in it. She played a great Mary Stewart. Um, but, you know, overall the story's a little not the greatest. And I, I could have done a little bit less with the, the heavy-handed messaging that they wanted to put in, you know. But anyway, uh, leave in the comments below. Did you check out Mary, uh, Queen of Scots? Uh, yeah, 4K is available now at your local store. So please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, put out videos daily. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.